In high concentrations, hydrogen sulfide can be fatal. This incident, however, was preventable. After completing this episode, you should be able to identify the characteristics of hydrogen sulfide, also known as sour gas, and by the chemical designation H2S. Exposure to hydrogen sulfide is possible in any industrial operation involving organic material. But the risks are greatest in the oil field. One third of all hydrogen sulfide fatalities in the past 20 years occurred in oil and gas production and refining. Hydrogen sulfide is a gas made of two atoms hydrogen and one atom sulfur. H2S is created biologically over time by decaying organic material, often deep underground. Hydrogen sulfide is soluble in water, oil, and gas, and when it surfaces, H2S is released into the air. This doesn't mean H2S is part of every mixture extracted from the earth, but it might be. And until the hydrocarbons reach the surface, you can never be sure if H2S is present. Your senses are not reliable detectors of hydrogen sulfide. For one thing, H2S is colorless, so you can't see it. In low concentrations, you might smell or even taste the gas. Hydrogen sulfide is sweetish on the tongue, but to your nose, it's pretty foul, with an odor like rotten eggs. But at slightly higher hazardous concentrations of sour gas, the sense of smell is quickly deadened. H2S is heavier than air, so it tends to collect in depressions or low places. However, a light breeze can still move hydrogen sulfide. In addition, H2S is flammable, so you should always be aware of potential ignition sources when H2S may be present. <laughs> 